In this video, I'll show you how you can use Autograph to write complex, high-performance TensorFlow code using normal Python. Autograph is available in the new TF2 Function API that makes it easy to run TensorFlow computations in a way that's efficient and portable. When you annotate a Python function with tf.function, Autograph will automatically convert its Python code to TensorFlow graph code. The code is then compiled into a graph and executed when you call the function. Let's look at an example. This simple function calculates the square of a scalar input if it's positive. In TensorFlow 2.0, you don't have to use tf.cond anymore. You can just write a normal if statement. An autograph will generate a tf.cond operation so that the entire computation runs as a graph. This is the generated code that autograph writes for you. Notice that we're writing true and false functions that would normally be fed into a tf.cond statement. Instead of writing these, you can simply use Python if statements. Let's take a look at a more complicated example. This is a bare bones RNN cell. Note that it contains a data dependent for loop, and it also contains a data independent if statement. Autograph will only run the data dependent loop in the graph and leave the data independent if statement untouched. Simply adding a tf.function as a decorator still lets you call the function directly and get results immediately, but the function runs in graph mode. It prints results, and we can also time it. Now, if we remove the tf.function decorator, which I've preemptively done here, and run the function in eager mode, we get the same results out. However, it's going to be a little bit slower because we won't have coalesced the entire function into a single tf.graph op. We can time both options with tf.function in autograph and without. You'll note that using tf.function, which requires only a single function decorator, is significantly faster than the eager mode version without tf.function.